wanted them to focus on, can you prove this? Can I prove that it's effective? If, it, if I can prove it, if it's some the information that everyone else knows, that if you go to a, a research, like a research engine, you can actually find an information. From there, I, will, I would ask them, does everyone think the same? That way, if they tell me no, well, I can like it, but they may not like that, or I can think that, but they may not think that, then they would be able to get the concept. They would know that it doesn't apply to everyone, and that's what, it's an, that, that's what an opinion is, that it doesn't really apply to every single person. So let's start. Are we ready to start, boys and girls? Okay. So um, when you guys came in this morning, you saw that you had... Um, some objects at your desk, yes, we had some stuffed animals, and we have pictures and we have other items, right? And you guys also found that you have this at your desk. You actually put the titles on it. On one side you have, I know, and on the other side you have, I think, okay? So, I am going to show you, I'm going to give you an example of what I want you guys to do. I have mine over here. Can everyone see it or should I project it? projector, right? Yes. Okay. So, this is mine. Okay. So, I know and I think. So, in my table, I found this person. Who's that person? Paulina. Paulina? No, Shakira. Come on, it's Shakira. Okay. So, this is what I want you to do. So, I found Shakira on my table. And what I know about her is, first of all, her name is Shakira, right? And she is Colombian, right? And she's a singer. That's what I know. Now, this is what I think. She's the greatest, best singer of all time. She is the, but this is what I think, right? So she's the greatest singer. She has a beautiful baby named Milan. Beautiful, the most beautiful baby in the world, okay? This is what I think. Now, I also know that she's married to a famous soccer player. Messi. Not Messi. PK. Very good. Okay. So, what I want you to do is, as a table, what you're going to do is you're going to look at the different objects. Someone is going to write. And you're going to tell me, what do you know? And what do you think about the objects that you have and the pictures? Ready? Let's go. We have six minutes. You choose the ones that you want to use. Just speak, we start with one, start writing, and then you move on to the next one. Okay. Barack Obama. Perfect, then write it down. There you go. Who's going to write? Yes, this one too, you can do any of the objects here. Yes. Oh, this is it. Yes. We have three minutes, boys and girls. With markers, yes, you can do it. But we have three minutes, yes. Uh -huh. One paper, okay? So just use one and then all your ideas, I want you to write it in that paper, okay? No, I know that we know who that is, right? Juan Calderon, I know that you know who that is. Make sure, guys, that we have at least two statements in the I think column and two statements in the I know column, okay? Make sure that you have at least two statements. Cheers. Now, the, what letter is that? R. So, is that an R or it's going to be a ch, ch? Many people. Very good. Yes. Like I gave you my example, right? I said, well, this is Shakira. I know that this, her name is Shakira. I know that she's a Colombian singer. And Albert with a no was telling me, I, I know another thing. She's in The Voice. She's also in the TV show, right? So, now, what do I think? I think that's the, she's the most amazing singer in the whole world. People were saying, nah, right? Good, because that's what we're going to get into. So, first, we're going to share what you guys know about the objects that you have or about the picture, the personalities that you have in your pictures. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
time. This could be a vice. This could be haunted as the child dies. That could be. Oh, it, it's a prize or it could be hunted as a prize during Easter, right? Very good. Okay, so boys and girls, you may be thinking, okay, well, this is really easy, right? These are things, statements that I know or statements that I think, right? So, in this case, why do you think Ms. Kessler is asking you to do this? What would be the reason? Anna, what do you think? I think the things we're um, um, studying uh -huh. is about empathy. Okay. Okay, so she's saying she's connecting to what we already know, right? And one of the things that we already know is that we, we can make inferences, right, based on what we already know and what we see on the, on the clues that we have. Well, you, you are right on connecting what we're talking about, but actually we're going to be talking about today fact and opinion. Now, what is a fact? We've heard this term before, right? So what is a fact? Who can tell me what a fact is? Kelly? Okay. Okay, very good. So fact would be something that gives me information and something that is true. So which statement out of the your, two, your two columns, which side would be a fact? I know. I know. Thank you, but next time raise your hand. So we know the I know part would be our facts. So opinions. Now we have talked about opinions before, but we need to have a little bit more practice with opinions. Opinions are things that we think, that we believe, right? Or that you have a judgment on. For example, when I said, oh, Shakira is the best singer ever, the best, best singer ever. You guys said, no, Miss Casella, no. Why? Because I. It. There you go. It's my opinion. I think this. Do you think that? No. No. Maybe you prefer, I don't know, Selena Gomez? I don't know. Or, I don't know, who else? One Direction. One Direction? I don't know, right? So, very good. So, like, different genres, right? Different types of music. So, let's come back over here. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. So for um, what I just said, opinions, what are opinions? Tell me, what are opinions? Raise your hand and participate. I need more people participating. And all the hands up. All the hands up. Laura. Uh, opinions. <laughs> <laughs> opinions are what you think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, things that you think. What else? Better, 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 cold place, place they like to live. Okay. So what he says? Well, okay, well, sorry, polar bears are a good match for the better cold places they like to live. What do you think is trying to say? Okay, wait, wait, wait. But what do you think that it's saying polar bears are a good match for the better cold places they like to live? What does that mean? Peter, we know that better is when we type, would taste something, right? And it made it sour, right? It's tangy. I mean, it's not, it doesn't taste pleasant. So what do you think that means? Why are they saying bitter cold places? What is that? Oh I think it's, we, I think the first one that we were saying that it's sour. I think that's the first definition. I think there's another definition, but that word. What do you mean when you say another definition? Like, like some words have uh, two definitions or more. Mm -hmm. Some words only have one definition. So I think this word has two or more. Oh, so she, what she's saying is that maybe this has a different definition, right? And so because it has a different definition, we have to try to figure out what it's trying to say in the context of this paragraph, right? So let's, let's, we have to understand what it's saying. So what do you think that's saying? That sentence right there, what does it say?